All right, guys. So today, uh, it's getting kind of dark, as you can see. But today, I want to pr uh, paint my uh, chrome rims. I'm going to paint them with this satin black, and it's for plastic metal, Rust-Oleum. It's about five bucks a can, I think. So these came on the F-150. And I'll show you guys a picture of it probably. Stock. Now, first thing I did is I prepped by cleaning everything and wiping it all off. I'm going to give it one more good wipe right now, though, just to make sure there's nothing on it. Now, after that, you would want to sand it a little bit. Uh, with you know maybe a couple hundred grit uh, to 400 grit and that's just to scuff it up enough to where the paint sticks fairly well um, I already did scuff these um, actually quite a few times and I did that just because it was chipping and I've grinded down a lot of the um, chips on it and stuff like that so the chrome was chipping and that's why I did it I will show you what I use I personally used wire wheels like these uh, with a drill now a lot of videos will show you taping this off and putting a garbage bag I want to show you guys something. Here is brand new painter's tape. See what I ran into is this. That it started falling off and made my paint job uh, not come out so good when I was first starting to do it on another wheel. So what I decided to do instead is just paint it because it's satin black and just be careful. And it actually comes out pretty dang good, I think. So spray a couple times there. And we'll call that coat one. So as you can see, it sticks on fairly well. Now some of you naysayers might be like, hey, that's not how you should do it. It's gonna come out like shit. You're gonna get paint everywhere. Here, oopsies. You see that can you here's the final product on this side and it looks pretty fucking good oh. round two
if you guys can see that fairly well. But it's already coming out really good. So I will finish this one. And then during daylight, I will show you the final product and probably do the last one in the daylight just so you guys can see it. All right, for today, what I'm going to be doing to my 10th Gen F-150 2003 Super Crew is I'm going to be painting the rims on my truck. So the rims on my truck, they're chrome. They're not ideal. I uh, came with a truck stock. Uh, right now, I don't want to spend a lot of money to get some new rims. So instead, I'm just going to paint them. What I'm going to be using for that is Rust-Oleum Satin Finish. Ultra Cover Times 2. These are about five bucks a piece at Home Depot, and it even says on them that they're good for metal. So I'm going to use that to paint them. And then to clean the rims, I'm going to use Super um, Simple Green and this degreaser, which is uh, awesome. Uh, you can buy it at the dollar store or Home Depot as well. Microfiber towel and a little sandpaper is all you need. All right, so let's take a look at the rim real quick. All right, so for that sandpaper, right, I just got a little sandpaper. I cut it off. And the better you prep these wheels, the uh, longer this paint job will last, right? So a paint job could either start chipping, you know, in a week, a day, uh, or it could last, you know, a year, two years, uh, or even longer, depending on this prep work right now. So the more prep work you put into it, the longer it'll last, right? So these rims, especially being chrome, they're super, super smooth. Obviously not this part, but so you want to scuff them up a little bit so that way the paint has uh, something more to adhere to, right? So it'll grip on better to that wheel making it last longer. So all you're gonna do is lightly go over all this stuff. And then also, because I already have these chips, by sanding them down a little bit more too by hand, it's gonna make the coats go on a lot smoother. Take off the valve stem so I don't mess it up. Okay, I'm pretty good with that. Like I said, and I showed you, my rims were already pretty scuffed up due to the fact of me wheeling it and with a wire wheel and getting all that uh, crap out. Now, because I just did that, I want to make sure I get all that uh, powder, right, and residue. We see that? All that powder off. I'm going to wipe it down again.
There we go. Now, as you can see in that video, it's all dry. I'm gonna get you in a little closer. Hopefully you can see these scuffs, and I think you can. Yep. So that's all the scuffs I just made. You can see them hairline scuffs here and there. I smoothed out some of these a little bit more. But again, what did I say? Utility vehicle, right? So I take this sucker off-road. Not looking for it to be showmanship. So now we got the satin. Cannon black satin from Rust Oleum. So now typically every YouTube video you watch, you'll see people either take the wheel off and then do it. They'll take the wheel off the vehicle, they'll put it on the ground, and then they'll mask up the tire so you don't get paint on the tire. Or if they keep it on the vehicle, they'll mask up the tire. Uh, what I learned really quick in my application is that was not needed. And it was also stupidly hard to do for some reason. I don't know why. But on my tires, even though there's no like oil or anything on them, painter's tape, double-sided tape did not want to stick to those tires. So I am going to show you how to rattle can your rims, your wheels, without masking up those tires. Here we go. So these have already been sitting. This one's almost empty, actually. Using it on some other projects. So I don't spray it right on the rim right away. Spray it off a couple times to make sure it's not clogged. And I go right to town. And we'll call that coat one. So you can see. And now we're going to let that dry for a few minutes and we'll come back for coat two. All right. Brown two. Call that good for number two. Second coat. On there and looking good. Round 
three. Alright, this time it's a new can. Other can ran out. three. It's looking really good. Now how many coats you have to do is completely depending on your wheel and how much you put down. Three I would say is pretty good for this one. I might do two more though just to get a couple more of those nicks and cracks. But look how good that looks. And now some of you might be like, well, how about if you get uh, paint on the tire, right? Well, if you get paint on the tire, like I got a little bit right there, and that's what I was scrubbing off. All you do to get the paint off, if you do happen to spray it on here, is there's a couple methods, right? One, just use a freaking microfiber towel or a washcloth, and I use a little degreaser. And literally, it'll scrub right off. It'll rub right off. Um, you can use alcohol. And do the same thing, it'll rub right off, or like a um, Mr. Clean little white uh, magic eraser, same thing. So uh, don't think like this right here is because the paint and me trying to get it off. That was already there. I'm actually not sure what that was from. Um, it showed up like a week after I got these tires on. Still not really even sure, right? But as you can see, you don't see a lot of paint on the tire because I'm careful and I'm doing slow, steady pressure look how good that looks again is it showmanship or I could take this to something like a show and try to get first place yeah probably not maybe who knows right but there is coat three and I think I'm gonna go right into coat four right now in front of you
And that, my friends, is coat four. Again, look how good that looks. All right, so again, this is for a utility vehicle. You know, these are going to get scratched up and scuffed on. Why? Because I take this off-road, I pull my freaking RV I live in it. So, this is not for showmanship. That's why I don't care about masking it all up and doing all kinds of crazy stuff, right? These cans, five bucks each. I already have the sandpaper, but say you don't. It's like less than 10 bucks. So, you know, two cans of this, I was able to do, I'm able to do all four rims. So that's 10 bucks, 10 bucks in uh, sandpaper. You already have microfiber towels. You're looking at a total of 20 bucks. 20 bucks, and I was able to do all four rims to look that good. Again, utility vehicle. Uh, some people call it a utilitarian vehicle, right? And as you can see, I already have this one over here uh, painted. So we're going to let that dry and come back in a few minutes. We'll do the final assessment to see how it looks. Hopefully it looks good and we'll see. And final product. After four, phrase. <laughs> 